Okay, so I had this, I had a whole bunch of narration, um, but I, I, my dad gave me a GoPro that he never uses, and it turns out that um, the audio is not very good on those, and of course having a blower with a forge is not very good for, <laughs> for listening to stuff, so um, I've just got some few footage that I'm just talking over it. So I started with some 5160 um, steel and I was it's pretty thick so it needs to be drawn out it needs to have a distal taper and then um, I have to make the tang and everything and I just cut out kind of a tapered blade and then drew out the tang so that it, it's more um, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not wasting steel, I guess. So I've got a whole bunch more 5160. This is kind of my first um, real practice one because the other one was pretty bad. Um, pretty bad steel. So this time is kind of redoing the whole thing. This one's more like a, a thrusting sword. It's like an s tox so it's very thin, very pointy, um, and very light. Um, I don't even think that I'm going to hardly use much of a, a pommel on this one. So for this, I just had this the steel and then just widening, uh, making the, the blade much wider. Um, and then a lot of this footage is me uh, trying to figure out after I get the blade all kind of formed and everything, and I go off camera and I'm grinding the, the bevel and everything, I come back and then I'm trying to figure out how to um, heat treat the sword. And it is really, really hard to get it hot enough. Um, you'd have to get like a really well insulated oven to do it. So um, I still have not done it, but basically the rest of this is just me uh, just fiddling with those bricks and trying to get enough air in there and it's just not working the whole time so um, I gave up I even went to town and tried to look for like ceramic blanix blank blanic blankets and stuff like that so um, I've got some some stuff in the mail come tomorrow and I'll have the heat treat oven ready tomorrow and then I can heat treat the the sword uh, as well as another one because I was the for the one that you see here on the, the camera here is one that was forged you know to widen out and to make the distal paper table work um, where I was I had another piece of steel that I'm pretty sure is just mild steel just like the first sword but it's a little bit thicker um, and pointier um, and I was just using that for practice so that so I could do that one first and then go back to the 5160 sword and then redo the the bevels and everything so this is like my last or second last attempt <laughs> at trying to get this thing hot enough to heat treat um, and this one was just uh, charcoal, charcoal and firewood, and then once I get that all kind of burnt down, then I put some better charcoal in and blew air through it so that it was hot enough, and it did not work. <laughs> None of these works. I even had one that was buried in the ground, and uh, so that I could use more bricks and use the bottom as like the itself as a brick, I guess. I uh, don't know how to say it. <laughs> so that was, um, it was like maybe two days of me trying to do this. And it is not easy to get that shit hot enough. Like, it is really, it's gotta be real hot. <laughs> um, so this is just me. Hell if I know. Anyhow, this is the whole 